going on guys? Good afternoon everybody. Um, so right now I kind of wanted to make a longer vlog in like the morning and going to the gym regularly and stuff. Happy Easter by the way. But today, in Holland we have such a thing as a second day of Easter or something stupid. So the gym's only open till 4 and it's already 1. And so I still need to eat lunch. So now we're gonna go downstairs, eat lunch, and, and um, go to the gym as soon as possible. <sighs> Shit. But anyways, welcome to a new video. All right, so we're making chicken in rice, just because I know we can make that very, very fast, and we still have rice. So, rice, chicken, eggs, those are not mine. And then we're also gonna have um, one of these very fast, but that's after. Oh, and mom, that road is salty, and shitty stuff. Chicken is almost done. Add the rice, and then uh, we have uh, time to eat. Luckily. Wow. So now we got um, ourselves some food, chicken, rice, and then one whole egg in there mixed, and then um, some chili sauce. Also fill up my aquarium. Uh, I'm gonna drink some goldfish right now. But, hell yeah. So let me guys know how your, your Easter was, man. I was, uh, I'm, uh, I'm excited to hear about your Easter. I'm not um, really an Easter type of guy. Um, I don't really. I'm not religious at all, so Easter doesn't really mean a lot to me. Uh, only that a lot of people are off work and off school, which um, is good. Focus on me, please. Thank you. All right, so let's let's eat this. Then we're gonna eat the shit, and then uh, we should to go, should be good to go by two. Um, now we have plenty of time to train. We're gonna train some back, some biceps, some forearms, and some calves. So I'm gonna do like a combination of those four things. Um, I'll walk you guys through it. And um, But yeah, let's eat this first and I'll check in with you guys here. I need this. I also need that. Don't need that. Um, almost ready to go, boys. Um, so I was thinking of doing six exercises today. Um, two back, two biceps, and one for calves and one for forearms. So um, let's just get ready, right? I got my the room all like all organized and stuff, like super neat. I got my gamma labs bag in here. I got my pre-workout downstairs. So let's put this in here. Let's get some shoes. Which ones do we wear today? I'm thinking <laughs> same as always, dog. <laughs> One, two. Easy money. I didn't end up eating the skier yet because there's no time. There is no time to eat the skier. God damn it. But we'll eat it after. That works too. Um, then we need a couple more things. One of those things will be this t shirt. So. Like that, so then we need to fill up our aquarium again. Two, four, three, which is the 24K gold standard. You can use Jasper 10 on gammalabs.net or .com, either of those two. Now we are ready to go to the gym. I need to get a car with me, and um, um, let's just jump into the workout. I'll uh, do the commentary over the clips 
in a couple seconds, right? Now. What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is as always, it's Faith Jasper, and today we're gonna go over the work that we did today on Easter. Uh, I first of all, I hope you had an amazing time with your family and uh, with whoever you celebrate Easter with, if you celebrate it because of Easter, or if you just celebrate it because it's a normal thing to celebrate. Uh, for me, it's more like a, a celebration because people celebrate. I don't really celebrate the thing itself. I'm not a religious person, so. Uh, but anyways, today we're gonna go over the back and bicep and accessory workout we did kind of so i started out with pull-ups very very easy pull-ups since the, the belt wasn't there so i couldn't use any weight so usually i add weight and do, do five sets of eight reps but now i didn't have any weight so i decided to do five sets of 12 reps very controlled and slow and really trying to focus on the squeeze in the mid trap section then uh, I wanted to do two exercises for every single muscle group that we did, except for the accessory movement. I just did one exercise with um, six sets of that. Uh, the second exercise we're going to do for back is some very nice, um, you know, pull downs, wide grip pull downs. Again, squeezing at the uh, middle traps, trying to really slow and control movement. Um, obviously, these two exercises are more focused on the lats, so more of like the, the wideness of the back. Um, which is also uh, very important to do. Then we move on to biceps. It was Easter, so the gym was only open to like four o'clock, so it was very, very busy. So I tried to stay in this area where the majority of people weren't. Um, and I also could film here because um, otherwise people get very anxious when I film and very uncomfortable. So I wanna make sure uh, nobody is really uncomfortable uh, when I do record, but Moving on to biceps, some fairly easy uh, bicep curl, barbell curls. Um, this is just a very standard and easy exercise to do. And then I decided to do a, a superset as well after this one. So I decided to go a little bit harder on the biceps, but um, with both of the back exercises, I did five sets, 12 reps. And with the biceps, I think I did four sets of biceps with the first exercise and the second exercise I did three, I think, uh, three um, sets, and then both of those 10 repetitions. So I tried to have uh, the rep ranges today from like 12 to 10, and then the accessory movements more towards 15, so a little bit higher uh, rep ranges there. Um, so this is the second exercise I wanted to do for uh, biceps, just some hammer curls with some dumbbells. Uh, very, very easy exercises also um, works a little bit of the forearms, what we're going to do as well. Uh, but I wanted to superset it with kettlebell curls. I'm just curling stuff, you know. <laughs> I'm just trying to curl a, a lot of stuff uh, just because it's a little bit different every time. The plate curls are different than the barbell curls and the kettlebell curls are a little bit different than the plate curls. So I'm just trying to uh, do some new stuff and see how I can, you know, really... Um, get my, my biceps fired up in different ways and different angles and just different ways in general to hit it. So as you can see here, I have a 16 kilo, so it's like 35 pounds, not even that. Whoa, did you hear that? 35 pounds. Did you hear that voice crack? Holy shit. Uh, 35 pounds, not even heavy, uh, but it was a superset, obviously, so it was quite heavy to do since my, you know, my bicep well already pretty fatigued, but it was a fun exercise to do, a little side view with this one, hammer curls, it's very, very important to keep your shoulders back, head, you know, back, make sure your chest is up, and, um, you know, don't try to swing the weight around, uh, we do want to focus a lot on, um, on controlling the movement and controlling the weights, don't just lift, don't just shift it, lift it, or something like that, <laughs> something that Legs always says, um, don't lift it, sh don't shift it, lift it. Uh, it's more about the contraction, more about time and attention, then it's about swinging the weight to get it up and then having no results at all. Uh, different angle here. This was actually the mirror angle, so I think I look a little bit bigger here, lol. But uh, that doesn't count, right? And also, it doesn't count when you have a pump. But still, it kind of looks better when you have a pump. So, uh, but these kettlebell curls, definitely try them out, man. They're really nice. This is the first time I've ever done this. And I'm also having my thumbs over the kettlebell thing. Um, I, for some reason, I it works my grip better. And also, I can feel like I, I can squeeze it a little bit better uh, when I do that. Uh, then, forearm curls, super set it with some... Uh, other forearm curls, I'm not sure what they're called, uh, but this is just a uh, reverse grip on a bicep curl. So you have your um, wrists over the bar and then you superset it with this. So this works like the inside of like 
for what you, this shot is, this is like the inside of the arm, and then the other curls work more like the um, brachialis, which is on the upper side of the arm. Uh, so that was four arms, as I said, four sets, um, 15 reps, a little bit higher rep ranges, both uh, the, the supersets exercises, and then we did some calves as well, four sets, 15 repetitions, Try to film it here for you guys. And what I wanted to show you guys here in this clip is you can have a neutral position for your uh, feet, but you can also angle them a little bit towards the inside or the outside. And that, that way you hit different angles on the, the calves. It's not just one small muscle. Uh, you can actually hit it in different variations and angles to hit it and to grow it out more. That's gonna be it for this workout, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of this video. It has some awesome freestyling in it. All right, guys, we are uh, in the car right now. We just finished our workout. As I said, we did some back biceps. We did some forearm exercises. And also we did uh, calves, which, um, I'm trying to do calves as much as possible when I can, so I at least have two days in between when I train calves, obviously, uh, to have it rest. But I just want to do a certain amount of sets of calves uh, a week, uh, so I make sure to really get to grow them. But now we're going to go home, very hungry. We have like 45 minutes left for the gym is open, so we were pretty quick. Uh, I've tried to film as much as possible, but now we're going to go home and eat because I'm starving. And I'm also kind of thirsty, so um, yeah, let's just get going. Close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow Turns the sun rays and the Damn, it was out of frame, no, bro. All right, let's let's go further back then because I've been doing shit out of frame. Finding life along the way, melodies we haven't played. No, I don't want no rest. Echoing around these walls, fighting to create. have so much fun just playing around doing tricks but um, I actually wanted to practice something my vertical uh, jump so let's see how high we can get it we'll grow in number fueled by them to see the horizon turn us to thousands and we'll grow in number Fueled by them to see the horizon Turn us to thousands And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways At some point Okay, while I'm editing this, I'm, gonna, I'm 5'7", so I'm gonna measure how high that was, but I felt like some of those were pretty high. I also out of breath. So let's go inside and uh, eat, finally.
I mean, it practically did hit it. Now I'm sweaty and I'm hungry. So we're gonna eat this. There's a lot of protein, obviously protein. We need protein to restore our muscles. But also, this has also some sugar. Actually, it does have a lot of sugar, actually. I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna lie by it, but sugar, some sugar, it's good also to have, um, to restore your sugar levels in your body after a workout. So uh, this is quite a fantastic thing to eat for after your workout. So if you don't know, go check your um, local grocery store and see if they have this. I'm just gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of the football thing. The, the, like, I don't know. I thought it would be cool to incorporate into the video. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching. I, I, I should watch in the screen instead of the, the pop-up screen. I should watch the lens talking directly to you. But uh, again, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And um, yeah, leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys later. Deuces.